preceded yes. him and made it okay to talk about it. Gurrier buries the three. Beheim looked for Dolajai. Finally, the roll comes and he sets up Gurrier for the slam. And then you see uh, the youngster, the freshman from Montreal. Bryson Gadine at the point for the Orange. Hughes lobs. Gurrier punches it through. Perdu and the freshman getting a really good opportunity tonight to uh, continue to grow. This is the deepest team. Almost two-week COVID pause before their opener against Bryant. And this is the biggest challenge for both teams thus far. Three-pointer from the corner drops to make it a one-point game from Gary. Since 91, when Joe Lenardi had them as a number nine seed heading into the NCAA tournament. They've outscored the opposition by 62 coming into this game on the fast break. So a quick look under the bucket. And one strong in the front court. Well, clip from Omori, he's just got to stay down, stay low. If you get faced up by a guy like Garrier who can attack and who is physical, you've got to settle in defensively, first and foremost, in transition to take control. A miss on the lob looking for Johnson. We were sitting around talking about rebounding, and somebody came up and put a cover of Sports Illustrated. Whoa, three Quincy Carrier. They should just run everything right through Kalel Ware. Find out if he's capable right now of carrying this great program. Will Richardson a three for tonight. His old school would not support Maine, would not support his transfer to Portland. And so, so why doesn't Mark Emery Gene Stallings going to want him to play on his football team. Quincy Carrier. A happy Illinois team, too, as they have a chance now with three and a half to go in on the momentum. Shannon pushing the pace, no surprise. Garrier faked and brings it in. They're going to be forced, you know, Coleman Hawkins, you know, Danger, guys who just are able to sit back down the paint. They're going to have to come up and guard that mid range, which opened up opportunities for the inside as well. Monty Hansberry was doubled, but that left a man wide open. On the court whenever they're called upon. Well said, dedicate your life to the game there as Gary A denies Corey Sawyer. Moretti pushing the pace back the other way to A.J. Red. He gets involved and he will head to the line. The Atlanta are going to have a five on four chance here. For them to push the pace transition wise. Gary A steps inside, Shannon in the corner. Great. Take it to the hole himself. Finds Gary A. We're tied at 15. Time, but you don't shoot free throws until the seventh Team. That's one of Thompson's strengths, is good hands inside, allows him to gain maximum height on the turnaround shots and jumpers. Great ball movement by the Illini. Hawkins finds Garrier on the baseline, and Garrier once again slams it home. Double teamed into Rodgers. Illinois reset. Garrier wide open, three-pointer. They need one. They got it. And Danger 0 for 3 as well to that point. Lantman thought about a step back three, gets it into the hot hand. Towns is going to work on Garrier, rejected by Garrier. Stafford can't get it to go, tapped out the palm, spins out all the shots for Valpo that were falling in the first half, and there's a lid here in the second. Yeah, you said it, Scott. That's a couple that you really would expect to fall. Garrier nice. with his first point. That's largely because Stafford was doing just fine on the wing, but now they have to find some new answers. Danger, the power dribble, the baseline, the reverse. Schwieger denied by Garrier. He tries again, and he got denied by a combination of Damask and Garrier. First possession of the second half, Illinois with those 36 points in the paint. So whatever they picked up at the free throw line, Garrier was tough. Takes it down for Illinois! Let's go back to Quincy Garrier. That's a beautiful up fake to elude or to get past two defenders from the Jaguar. A nice finish at the rim. All right. Well, we'll all be chanting here now. Oh, yeah. Got oh. him filled in. Oh, look at that pass. Yeah, yeah, open, lays it down. To Illinois. Look at that feet. Look at that pass. Out of the double team. 
Shannon gets the assist. Quincy Garrier, transfer from Oregon. A touch pass, I don't know if he meant to do it, but it works, and Shannon hits the three. Oh yeah, Garrier meant to do that. First jumper they've made in this game. Western Illinois controls the tip in the purple uniforms. Tariq Lewis, Rob Kuhneman, and Bill Jacobson, the officials, and an immediate 20 or more points in three consecutive games. Danger, no. Gary in the second chance. And he puts it down. In their win against Southern. A plethora of transitions here, including losing their top three scorers from a season ago. So a lot of newness for this Western Illinois team. And another block by Gary. That Shea Davis trying to shake loose from Harmon. Wiggles around and sent out of bounds by Gary. That's his third block in the first half. Showed some defensive skills. They've done a great job. Here's the drive. Nice move, but he comes out of nowhere with a good weak side block. The mask in the corner off the Rogers feet. Too strong. Gary the offensive rebound, another chance here for the Illini. He'll pull up and fire, and that one rattles in. Shot clock at eight, Hawkins against Hyatt. Bounce pass, Gary, baseline, Ooh. and throws it down over Antoine Wolfolk. You've got to respect Gary because he's already hit a three, goes back door, and brings home the hammer. You see, Omori is not used to digging in that position. He's used to guarding it. Ooh, that's grown man scrimp. That's what we call it, scrimp. <laughs> and it began at Syracuse, Oregon, and now wrapping up. Here. Illinois is a much bigger team. Everybody's 6'5", 6 6'6", six, 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 as Quincy Garrier, the former Syracuse Orange. Down to five to shoot. Smith gets one up near the horn, and that's way off, but an offensive rebound is stripped away with Gary in on the defense with Rodgers. Smith has it stripped with Shannon, and Colgate sees that possession end with Hawkins. The active hands from the Illini early on have been effective. Here's Rodgers who said he wants to be more aggressive, leaves it off for Gary So they're getting whatever they want in the half court and transition. Ty Rodgers, six, six point guard, 215, physical, athletic. Once he gets in the paint, the Euro step, you, using his strength, I love that drop off and, and Gary A can finish it. 10 feet away on that jump hook, that's a much tougher shot as opposed to him being able to back down and get it within five feet or so. Marcus Damask short, Gary A, there's the rebound and Brad Underwood wanted. For Missouri, you've got a lot of new new faces out here. You, you lose your three top scorers from last season and they're still trying to figure some things out. You mentioned that starting lineup. Gary A, corner three! with a great close on He flew out there at Tamar Bates and affected that shot. Gary A wants another three. His third! What's a foul? Challenge there by Damas. Not fouling, but going up vertically. A quick moving offensive exhibition tonight for the Vitamin Line on. Gary A has been red hot from three all night. That one contested. This has been the theme of the night. Second chance opportunity. Leading this second chance buckets. 50 ball here. You've got both Shannon and Goody there. Sean East just trying to take a foul and Gary A. Luke Goody spotting up in the, with those different opportunities. Uh, they have guys that can try to fill that void as, as the mass drives here. We see Gary A, the first points of the game for Illinois and fitting because he's coming off a career high. Goody back in the game. Ninja, who's been the talk of this Illinois first half so far, gets the board. And Gary drives real strong to the rim. Grant Singleton, two guys who helped them beat Purdue last year. All of them came from that school that Tobin Anderson, their prior coach, was coaching at. Ty Rogers is looking impressive. And speaking of impressive, there's the hops on. Again, Rogers draws the attention. You want to come over and try to block Gary left alone and finishes with the hammer. He's been Johnny on the spot all year when it comes to rebounding, and that's as he gets blown by off the, <laughs> off the dribble. But he's consistent with that. He's consistent with his effort. Beautiful lob again to the flying Gary. He doesn't get much of that. Second in the Big Ten in minutes, and you look at all the minutes that he, Barnheiser, and Langborg have lost. It's a ton, and there's that cut again. How good has Gary been coming from the weak side?
And so far, they have been terrific. The weak side, a real problem for the Cats. Quincy Garrier has been outstanding cutting. Garrier going up, taking the cut, and hanging on rims. He did. He was talking to the official coming down. Bowie working in the lane, hands for Hawkins. And here comes the fast break. Garrier looking around for a slam. Defense to offense once again. Going to that post. Here's that defense. The active hands. Coleman Hawkins just getting a hand on it, a fingertip. Harmon giving it up, and Quincy Garrier throwing it down. So without Terrence Shannon, Robbie, they don't have the quote unquote one man fast break. But this he can really score around the rim. I think he's he's Northwestern's best back to the basket scorer. Garrier step back and hits the three. See Garrier late shot clock. He's got to go make something happen. The Illini shooting 62% from the field, 50% from three. A little behind the back, step back. Everything going for the Illini. There's Hawkins. Short, but look who's there. Oh, wow. Garrier Johnny on the spot. It was all Purdue on the offensive glass early, but that pendulum's starting to swing. Now Illinois making plays. Garrier going up. There's Dre Gibbs Lawhorn, who's actually originally a Purdue commit, decommitted, and now a freshman of Illinois, number two. Hawkins, great pass. Garrier all alone. Take a, take a look at Garrier here. He's so active as a cutter. You got two on the basketball on the ball screen. Nice little pocket pass, and you can see Fletcher Lawyer. He gets caught ball watching. When... Each team with nine turnovers now. Alley oop. Now we know Garrier can do that. Not going to switch. You've got to chuck the cutter. Caleb first is kind of in no man's land there. He's in between. And Edie's just taking little practice hooks out there with that right hand. Hawkins got a good look. Nice shot by Harmon on the glass, and then a put back by Quincy Guerrier. And because they have kind of just hung around, and they are still very much so in this game. Guerrier getting Edie off his feet. Approach the game. Empty side with a ball screen, trying to load up Hawkins. Nice find. Oh, yes, it was. What a look. Guerrier was getting really bully ball, I call it. You have a different name for it, but that's what a terrific look at the hold off the dig. And they're not much. The room to recover. Walk that guy up the lane, set him up. Offensive rebound, kick out. So vulnerable. Nice one. Yes. And what a slip. Yes. But he does. Gary A and Hawkins with a five. Does so many nice things. Big yeah. fella. Those in the last two games we've had. A little neck ball, but how about this one right into your living room? Great step and go, big fella. Catchable. Bounce pass from the top. Harry A with the left hand. Really solid under control. I've seen some good dribble drives with the open middle. Look at the length, the stretch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and they root for him to do that every year for the last in. four years. That guy. Oh, Harry A with the two hand flush and a 15 7 lead for Illinois. Well, well, you see Dante Scott. He's caught ball watching here. And Quincy Garrier is just flying by him, hanging on a rim with Michigan State in that game Thursday night. In the corner, Garrier's three drops for Illinois. Scott, bully ball there, a little bit short though, and Rodgers the rebound. Looking to push, Damask on the run. He'll shake the rust off quickly, working against Doug McDaniel. That's right, he's gonna have to. But he can really push the rock. And Green with the follow jam, Quincy Garriott. Down, I didn't know what he was going to do. You see there on the miss for Goody, Quincy Garriott coming on the backside. Somebody missed an assignment. Pulled that ACL December 2nd, or came back December 2nd from the ACL injury a year ago. Drop down and a two hand hammer for Garriott. Dayot sitting there waiting on the double team. There's Rodgers, back it goes to Harmon. Push ahead against the pressure, now numbers the lob to Garrier. And the two-hand flush, big-to-big -big connection, and a big two for Illinois. Great job, via the pass. 
Hawkins surveys, stops, good feed inside, but Gary ain't lost it. Got it back and scored it. But Illinois is looking strong early up 11. Deep three. What a put back by Quincy Garrier. The blockouts for Rutgers are just non-existent. Garrier, he's coming from the corner. Gavin Griffiths, just, he, he's... Oh, Shannon wasn't ready for it. Drive and kick, open three. Yes, money for Garrier. Rutgers has been better on the offensive glass here in this second half. Oh! And speaking of offensive glass, Quincy Garrier. Damask, who went for 32 points the first time. This saw Northwestern. Gives up Garrier. Spinning on Nicholson. Left it short, and the tap back goes. Right there. Eight points for Bowie, trying to lead Northwestern to a top 10 win for the second time this year. And Garrier all bottom. And Illinois in their second game with Terrence Shannon back in the lineup. And a Big Ten title contender. These teams are third and fourth in the Big Ten standings, and Garrier smacks a three to start the second half. Garrier, open look, cashes it in. That's a real answer, and Terrence Shannon's dribble penetration. On the skip, Garrier's shot fake. Indiana recovers well to the corner. That one falls finally to Mask. Oh, he let him tunnel in as Rodgers goes under the screen on Cuffs and creates a little carnage. Garrier runs it down, still standing Garrier to the free throw line. Three-point shooter, but Holtman knowing that they've got to score the basketball in many ways. And a beautiful pass here from Damask. Floats one up and put down by Garrier. I'm watching the way he's playing. This is the biggest lead by either team in the lead just five. Garrier, tough shot. Gets it to go. Nice take and then the putback even better. That's Justin Harmon flying in. Putting it right back up. Tominaga again. And it's swatted away by Garrier. Here come the Illini on the break. Garrier strong to the hoop. Knocked away, but he's fouled. And the Illinois yet to get a point off the bench. They average more than 20 per game. The near turnover there. Inside Carrier, nicely done. Here's Shannon. Hawkins thought about it. Inside Carrier, nifty reverse. Another dribble drive for Illinois. That shoulder kick, totally freedom of Hawkins. Here's Carrier for three. Got it! Yeah, they came out early firing from three and then tried to get to the basket, but that was the problem. Michigan State wouldn't let them. Garrier for three, and right away we're tied at 44. And Derek Harper, who played for a long time, a many time champion, as Garrier knocks down the three ball from the corner. Those two are tied at the top of the list. They played 1,199 NBA games. Shannon around the perimeter, keeps the defense stretch. Oh, it's a mask, what a move. Ooh. Nearly finished. Garrier right there for the stick back. I think I could get some NIL from Kendall Gill. <laughs> some delayed NILs if yeah. I help him get that. 100%. You okay. deserve at least a percentage. Or like his agent. Oh, look out. The C is part, and Garrier throws it all. Put it on his bill. I, I do that. Nice up fake. Gets Reed off the ground. And Garrier, that's going to be good for his confidence. He struggled the last few games with foul trouble. Hasn't had a lot of opportunities. Those type of plays can really make you feel better. With Quincy Garrier. And you see Dante's got it just not moving very well out there. Yeah, you wonder how long he can be in this thing. Garrier looking for his shot there. The pass working hard against Yankees. Yeah, he dragged him there with the dribble, and Garrier finishes. The speed dribble against the pressure. You've got Jameer Young trying to heat the ball up. What a pass from Damask, and if you're going to pressure an offensive player, you've got to go to score, break that pressure to score, not just to break it. Getting the game to where they want it. Quick release, and it goes. A three for Q. And get a chance at a four-point opportunity. Look at Quincy Gary, no hesitation. Oh, DeMarco Dunn hit his left hand. That's what it was. I'm really fond of that young man, Nick Kern Jr. I, it, I would, in a pickup game, I'd pick him first. Boom! Oh! 
It just got over the hands of Hicks and Gary A on the receiving end. Great cut by Tony Perkins, and this Iowa team is a very good cutting team off the ball. Brad Underwood, when we visited with him before the game. Yes, there's Gary A. Little horns action, here's the flare, and instead of going off for the three, he is going to hang on rims. That's one where Sanford is so concerned with Hawkins. Those two late joining the play, and McCaffrey airballs it. And Hansberry with the save. Harmon leading the break. Gary oh! upstairs! Gary! Mayhem moment brought to you by Allstate. Well, watch your head here. Gary's running the wing. Tony Perkins coming over to contest. Iowa just allowing transition. Quincy Gary, hello. Maybe that kind of jump. Iowa trying to cut in before the half with Freeman. Look at the way he moved Hansberry. Good help though from Gary coming over. It will be Illinois ball to the Illini and on the move. Gary off the shot fake, driving inside, collides with Fox. Saw dinner tomorrow night erased with the make of a free throw. <laughs> First time at night, matchup zone by the Gophers. And Shannon will shoot over that zone and hit the three. Great ball move at that time. Turns baseline. Trouble comes, the hook short, rebound into the hands of Damask. Coleman Hawkins went over and provided help and then kept the ball out of Payne's hands. That's great defense. And a transition three, the result on the other end for Gary. Great teamwork, Elijah Hawkins getting a critical offensive rebound. Gary, the answer is there. Here's Harmon on the move. He's going to get on that glass. Gary, the offensive rebound. And Damas hits the three. Such a good offensive team. Three different players on this roster have scored 30 points in a game this year. It's the first. Here's Damas. Gary, shot clock at eight. And Gary, able to tie it up. Danger. A really nice game against Minnesota. In the corner, Damascus been hot behind the arc, and he remains hot behind the arc. Matt Painter talking to Jeffrey Anderson, thinking there was some contact there. Gary all alone for three. Man's game on the glass right now. Yes, it, it is. is. Big boy basketball. Leave it. Gary Step back. Three ball. It's smooth. Nothing but nylon for Gary well, I mean, you know, I've been, I've been out of school for a while, so I've learned a couple things, but Quincy Gary understands the importance of this game. He loves being here at Illinois. He knows he's struggled, struggled lately more than anyone, and he's focused on coming out and making an impact early. For the most part, Steven, it's been Edie doing the damage, and the water's been pretty much shut off on everybody else. Gary, he check. Oh, he's high. Quincy Gary makes it rain. Three triples. Well, you're talking about a, a guy that has played a lot of college basketball. He understands the importance of this game. Still a lid on the bucket. Boy, that's a tough finish though, over the top with 6'10", Coleman Hawkins at the rim. And Gary A gets it to drop 6-0, Illinois. Well, as there always is, there'll be a bevy of conversations about those bubble teams. Knocked away in an Iowa turnover. Gary A in transition. Ooh. Hello. That's how you finish in transition. Well, the Illini failed to get in transition a lot against Purdue. You tap the, your cap to the Boilers, but they're getting out in transition. 25 tonight. He's now 10 points away from 2,000 in his career. Gary A on the leak out. Well, if the last one wasn't the icing on the cake, that would have. Champagne, right? Got the win at Champagne. 20.7 rebounds for Coleman Hawkins. That's what you want with Gary A. Can he get it going? Gary A scores on the interior. That's his game. But that foul line created that opportunity. Gary with the finish. Seven points now for Chawan Gary. Gary A can get upstairs. Wow. More physically here. Well, Gary A, one of the most physical on the team. Great offensive rebound and then tip in dunk with Williams guarding Shannon. Swing it. Hawkins tried to dump it down. He does. Gary A with a tough bucket and, and a great read. Prior to that, Wisconsin had been the dominant team. The mask has been quiet. Excellent. 
Klesman, they get mixed up defensively. Gary A snaps it. Rebound. Storer couldn't grab it, and it's Shannon. Shannon, give it up. Gary A, the jumper is pure. And how about the big guy, Danger, right at the rim, too. Poised by Shannon. 